guys welcome back to my youtube channel this is daniel rosal here i want to um give a couple of tips for those who are like me um trying to improve their hebrew and watching youtube videos um in order to just build up their vocab but so it's one of my favorite ways to learn a language obviously speaking it is vital but uh you can do a lot of work and what i like about watching films and tv to improve a language is kind of effortless now i've done a few videos about this youtube playlist which is kind of a labor of love for me um it's called modern hebrew audio with english subtitles for learning i have at this point in time 293 videos um i'm adding it basically as i find random content on youtube that was that is hebrew with english subs manually added in there just isn't that much of it because subtitling is really a lot of work um and you know someone has to actually sit down in front of a computer and type in subtitles um so there's not a vast pool of content in hebrew that gets subtitled into english uh, but there is some and uh, i'll put a link to this one as well even though it's not what i want to do a video about today a bigger reservoir of content is hebrew actually hebrew with hebrew subtitles i've just created a playlist to start adding in videos that I find. Now, um, as I've said in a couple of videos for learning a language, I think you can actually use subtitles in the target language to improve your vocab. You just need to be at a pretty high level because you can learn from context. If you, if you know nine out of 10 words and you don't know the tense word, you can then look up that word in the dictionary, but it's, you know, it's obviously easier when you have a tra when translation into your, uh, your, your normal language. So, Hebrew versus English is still, I think, for beginners and intermediates, most useful. However, there is something you can do that is very useful. So um, how I'm currently building this up is I'm going through uh, one of Can's YouTube channels. And I know I'm, I'm kind of jumping around a little bit in this video, but I do want to um, just include this in my thing. I'm getting a whole uh, interesting uh, selection of uh, videos on my YouTube home, sc home screen today from a swimwear try on to something about a rabbi um, but I'm going to search for can and just to show you guys if you are not subscribed I really really recommend um, subscribing to their YouTube channels can is Israel's national broadcaster and I'm a huge fan of theirs I think they do terrific work for a state broadcaster and they have not just one but a whole kind of uh, repertoire of YouTube channels so you can see here there's Can11, Can uh, Digital and you can see also their video count so some of these like Can Echadisrei are 28,000 videos and Can Echadashot which is their news channel is uh, approaching 32,000 videos so really really big uh, repertoire as a content now what you can do to find subtitled videos is when you go through a youtube channel like this one if the video has subtitles at the moment because youtube is always changing their interface it should say subtitles in the bottom now i was trying to do this to find uh content with english subtitles and it was just too slow because you know i'd have to go into every single one and most of them are Hebrew subtitles. I don't know why that they subtitle a lot in Hebrew. I think it's to help people who are uh, um, deaf, uh, which is really commendable. Um, but uh, there's, you know, pr for every one video that can adds English subtitles, I would say there's like 20 in Hebrew. Now, here's uh, what I want to actually get to in this video. So let's turn on the Hebrew subtitles for a second and let's jump to some dialogue. And you can see the subtitles are coming on. And what you can do is click again into settings, click again into subtitles. And um, once there is one uh, subtitle, you're, you're also going to have auto translate. And if there are subtitles in one language, now there's YouTube sometimes automatically adds captions. That's not the same. That auto translate is less reliable than if you have one language where it's been manually entered because if it's auto-generated captions, the captions can be very, very bad in the first place. I hope that makes sense. So if we go into auto-generate and English, I'm just looking for English, what we're actually going to be doing is, auto, it's basically Google Translate or something like that. I think it is Google Translate. But once we're taking from the Hebrew, the translation as Google Translate has gotten a lot better is actually relatively good. So this is a way, um, if you are learning 
trying to improve your uh, Hebrew vocab via this method of getting, I mean, I still recommend, you know, watching as much as possible, uh, but I'm going to be building up this YouTube channel uh, tonight, Hebrew with Hebrew subtitles. And uh, some of the content is really engaging. I like this series called Luchamim. And if you do want to get it into English, uh, just to show this one more time, you want to click on the uh, YouTube icon. I'm doing this from the desktop. Click into uh, Subtitle CC, and then you're going to go for the Auto Translate option. And once you've done that, it'll be uh, there, and that will give you um, its machine-generated English subtitles, but they're coming off manual Hebrew subtitles, and therefore they are 80 to 90% usable. And this will greatly expand the pool of content you can use for this learning method. Hope this video is useful. If you want to get more videos from me, do feel free to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.